Can you show me your camera? Tell me about it. It failed and I have my tripod on. Oh. Do you need your tripod? Do I need my tripod? Sometimes I need my tripod, but right now I can hold it in my hand. Yeah. Your tripod has lots of colors. Yeah. It's very uh, pretty. It has a lot of blues. It does have a lot of blues. Did you make that tripod all by yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Because I wanted you. Oh, nice. Hey, Ezra, I bet anyone watching is wondering what's on your hand right now. What's on Power. your hand? <laughs> I did that today. You did that today. In this. I know, and that was not... Oh, you did it on your feet, too? I didn't even know that. Did you see that, hey. Brian? <laughs> <laughs> on your feet? I don't think I ever said good afternoon at this point. Yeah. Brian painted the youth room with all the youth this morning, and... It's the afternoon now. Yep, I think she's coming too. We're getting ready to go into town to meet Mimi for dinner. Eden's coming. Come on, Eden. <laughs> We're not gonna leave without you. But I was coming over here to show that um, earlier, maybe like an hour ago, that pin that Ezra had on his hand. He also drew on our little bench here in the living room, which it doesn't look like it's coming out very well. This one came out. Yeah, why didn't that one come out? I don't know. Ezra, did you get to help paint dad, paint with Dada today? Yeah. Yeah, what did you paint? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Painted the youth room. You painted the youth room. What colors? Uh, white and gray. White and gray. Probably kind of similar to what we have on our wall right here. <laughs> maybe, white. maybe a little darker than that. Something else I did this morning was make a cheesecake. Almost, actually, I don't think I've ever made a cheesecake before. I've made like some cheesecakes in little individual like muffin cups, but I've never had a springform pan. And after I got the Instant Pot, I wanted to get a small enough. <laughs> you okay? Hi, <laughs> water. Okay. I wanted to get a small enough pan that I could cook cheesecake in in my Instant Pot. But I'm really picky on like the materials of my cookware, so I don't want anything nonstick, which everything out there is nonstick. I found a silicone and glass springform pan like I don't know four or five months ago on Amazon but it hadn't been released yet by Instant Pot and it finally got shipped out just a couple days ago and I got it and here it is and I made a cheesecake in it too so hopefully that will be really good I had a lot of problems with like the the timing of it because when it's in the Instant Pot it's a pressure cooker you don't really see, you can't see it. Um, and I was a little unclear on how long I should put it in there anyway, because there's so much different information out there. But I think it will turn out good. The batter tastes really good, so I mean, it can't be that bad. questions on here we're gonna answer these questions it's called what's your instrument and we'll get to see what kind of instrument you should play it says when hanging out with your friends you like to play outside yeah or tell fun stories make jokes or play video games what's your favorite play video games you don't ever play, don't ever play video games your favorite school subject do you like art yeah. Do you like English? Or yeah. Do you talk? Oh, yeah. Do you like PE? Do you play games like sports? Or do you like math? What's your favorite? Maybe math. <laughs> Maybe math. And your dream job. Do you want to be a firefighter, an artist, a pilot, or a doctor? Maybe a doctor. Maybe a doctor. I think you're just picking the last choice that I tell you. Well, according to that, it means the keyboard is for you. You add a lot of fun and flair to the band and create new unique sounds. You want to play the keyboard? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually funny because right before I did that, that's the one he pointed out to. And that's what he plays at home all the time too. And many, 
more. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. Woo -hoo! Go ahead and blow Another now. Wish. Three, two, one. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yay! <laughs> Washing that still. But oh, why did this baby? Why is Dad sleepy? I don't know. He's tired. This is the neighborhood cat. It's mm -hmm. very friendly with everybody. He <gasps> just visits everybody and. <laughs> Very friendly. <laughs> it likes kids. Yeah, it likes you. Yeah. I can. Just... Eden's just Eden tried to pet. She's like, oh, let me touch it. Let me touch it. <sighs> she must really like that cat to not be crying that I'm sitting right here, <laughs> not holding her. That's crazy. I know. Bye. So we just got home, and both the kids are sleeping, and it is. <laughs> Five o'clock. Yeah, Brian fell asleep at the wheel too. Oh, that's a problem. But we made it. We're home. <laughs> we can't like take him inside and put him down for a nap. It's like way too late. It'll be bedtime soon, so I think we have to wake him up. Unfortunately, I'm just kind of sitting in the car though, stalling. Like, what should we do? <laughs> hey there, baby girl. Did you have a good nap? Did you sleep okay? Sorry, you didn't get much sleep today. We're here. We made it. <laughs> Are you so excited? Are you so excited? <laughs> hey, buddy. You gonna play with some toys, Ezra? Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> He's laying. It's like I'm just relaxing, y'all. Bumblebee, transform. That's right. Eden's gonna take all your toys. <gasps> She's gonna eat your Legos. What is he doing? You gonna give him a hug? Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh. That's sweet. Uh. <laughs> all right. So we've been home for not long at all, and we're headed. Uh, to church tonight. I feel like today has just been a little bit crazy filming wise. That is not for you. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying. I got a little distracted getting everybody in the car. But I was saying today's just been kind of crazy. Uh, we had church this morning and then we went to lunch at my parents' house to celebrate my grandparents' birthday both of their birthdays. Their birthdays are at the beginning of March, so we celebrated that with them today. And then we got home for a little bit, and now we're going back to church for um, evening church, and we also have like a fellowship with dinner and games, I believe. And also this morning um, at church, Brian actually preached a sermon because he is officially a reverend now. He was ordained last week, so this week he got to Officially, I mean he's preached before but this week was very official. I guess you could say more official than normal Sure, I will be putting the sermon that I preached on our YouTube page Ezra, so you can watch it if you want to but basically if I had to distill the sermon down to like 30 seconds it was based it was the sermon was from Luke chapter 6 verse 43 through 45 where Jesus says a, a tree is known by its fruit uh, and out of the heart a man speaks and acts and basically talking about how um, when we feel the pressure of life uh, when we're shaken and squeezed by the circumstances of life what comes out of us is what was in our hearts. We often blame other people or blame life for the bad choices we make, for the sins that we commit. But really, if we're honest with ourselves and with the scriptures, uh, what comes out of us, the mistakes that we make, the missteps and failures in our life are because of the sin that's in our heart. And our only hope is to trust in Christ because uh, He's the only one who can change a heart. He's the only one who can change a tree 
the nature of a tree. Uh, a good tree bears good fruit, a bad tree bears bad fruit. Uh, the only way a bad tree is going to become a good tree is if Christ changes them. And so uh, that's essentially what the sermon was. You can check out the full sermon if you want to. I encourage you to. Thumbs up for awkward video transitions. <laughs> I didn't film anything at church. We are super tired. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We got the kids in bed and we just got the new Zelda game that came out so we're pretty excited about that. We've been playing it after the kids go to bed. Never we're gonna play more right now. Been looking forward to sitting down <laughs> all day. But we do wanna say that we are thankful that you're watching this and you should definitely go check out Brian's sermon that he preached this morning. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.